So in this video today, we are going to break down all sorts of different things when it comes to weather and climate in Green Bay, Wisconsin. You know, everybody wants to know how cold is it? You know, other questions you might have might be, how humid is it? How warm does it get? What would be some ideas of things that I could do when I live in a place with this kind of climate? So we're gonna break that down to help you get a better idea of what it actually looks like. Yes, we do have all four seasons. So let's talk about some of your questions as it pertains to Green Bay and the weather and climate here. What is the coldest month in Green Bay, Wisconsin? The coldest month in Green Bay, Wisconsin is January. The low average temperature is somewhere around like nine degrees, but that's not factoring in wind chill, I don't think, or anything like that. So it can get a lot colder than that, but you know, the average is around nine degrees, not fun time to be pumping gas. So we talked about how cold it gets. Now let's talk about how hot does it get in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Green Bay is not a particularly hot place to live. The average high temperature is somewhere in the middle 80s. You know, we'll have our 90 and 100 degree days from here or there, not a a really predominantly high 100 degrees super often kind of thing. And uh, the hottest month of the year is July in Green Bay. So it's a really fun time with the 4th of July fireworks and all that to just really relax, enjoy the warmth and kind of take it in at that point. But again, like I was saying, the averages are only in the 80s. And so you get a fairly comfortable summer heat, not an overbearing, kind of wear you down and break you out, break you down kind of heat in Green Bay. Another common question people have is how much does it rain in Green Bay, Wisconsin? Or how often does it rain in Green Bay, Wisconsin? It rains about on average, I believe the average was around 30 inches a year in Green Bay. And that's actually, I think about eight inches below the national average for yearly rainfall totals. So Green Bay is not a predominantly rainy sort of climate. As far as days of rain go, Green Bay averages, I think around 130 days of precipitation. And I believe that also includes snowfall as well. So yeah, around 130 days of precipitation and on average about 30 inches of rainfall. Another commonly asked question is, well, what do you do in the winter in Green Bay when it has those low temperatures like that. You know, people have been adapting and finding ways to have fun for a long time in Green Bay. We play football in the cold, so you know, that's always happening. I love to go ice fishing, although I'm kind of a wimp when it comes to cold temperatures, so you won't find me out just sitting on a sheet of ice most often. Other people like to go sledding or skiing, or there's a very big like snowmobile community where people love to just drive around on the trails and really kind of get out and about in the snow that way. And when we have these really nice kind of snowy days where we'll have you know fluffy white powder everywhere, the temperature actually isn't really that cold on those kind of days because the humidity needed to you know, create that kind of precipitation is there. And I think it kind of warms it up a bit. So often when it's snowing, it's actually not that cold versus when it's like you wake up in January or February and you look outside and it's really sunny and clear skies, buckle in because it's probably like really cold outside. I kind of call it like eye, eyeball freezing weather. You go outside and you blink and your like eyeballs kind of froze a little bit. So. If you see one of those really clear days in January or February, just be careful. They're probably really cold versus if it's cloudy and snowing, it's actually probably warmer out. To me, Green Bay is a nice place to live weather-wise. Yes, there are the hard, harsh winter times, but I think that as you adapt and 
figure out ways to make it through that, you really do get to enjoy all four seasons in Green Bay. One thing that will actually help you enjoy those seasons more is if you have a place to live that is well suited to taking on the elements and maybe helping you avoid them at times. And so if you're looking to buy or sell a house, make sure to reach out to me. If you would real quick, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell to get notifications of new videos that come out. I really am enjoying making these videos and I hope you are enjoying getting to know more about Green Bay as well. As we sign off, my name is Andrew Guywitz. I'm your host of Living in Green Bay and the local real estate agent for you in the Green Bay area.